Good morning, everybody. This is Roland Barbecue Smoker Pros, Brasselton, Georgia. And we're gonna do a quick review video. People have been asking me about the sinks, setup, they've been asking about the corn roaster, the flames, the wheel, how to do it. So I'm gonna to try to do a step-by-step -step video. Obviously in the front here is propane tanks. You're gonna have your main tank. You're gonna hook your regulator to it over here. This is a really nice Marshall Excelsior regulator. Please look them up, one of the top regulators they have. Over there, you're gonna open your valve. So open is straight, close is not. This is a backup tank. We're gonna go over the sinks first. Up here, this is where you put your water and that's your closed valve on top. So you fill your water there, that's your water tank. Over here is your pump system with a quick disconnect there and a disconnect there. Disconnect these and drain it if you think it's gonna get under 32 degrees. Obviously water freezes and will break the pump. Here's an on and off switch. Down there is your battery that is positive and negative. Stainless steel sinks. Here is your hot water heater over here. I don't know if you can see in there. There's your adjustment knob. That's an in sink later. Take a look at it, it's a very good brand. It's plugged in, it's electric. Okay, basically fill the water in the tank. This is full. Turn the pump on and you will have water going through the system. Here's your pump over here, on. Here right now is your, I'm gonna turn the cold off. This is your hot coming through. You have to plug this in for probably uh, seven, eight minutes as electric hot water heater. Now the water is pretty warm. It's been plugged in for about seven to eight minutes. And that's pretty much the sink. The water goes through here, down through there. Goes to your holding tank that's on the bottom. And I open the valve to show everybody. Obviously you open and close it. I'm gonna shut this off over here. And you can see the pressure stops. Back here is your corn roaster. Now I've had this on for approximately 15 minutes. It's pretty cold this morning. Uh, I'd probably say high 30s. And we're at 450 degrees, which is roasting temperature. Here's the right side, obviously. There's the left side. Keep the doors open. When the valve is straight means gas flows. When you turn the valve that way is gas closed. Here is your right side flames. Your left side flames. And it's pretty windy today out here. So again, this is your adjustment. I'm gonna lower it a little bit so the flame gets smaller and smaller. I'm gonna bring it all the way up. Flame is gone, pilot's still on, and it turns right back on. Again, I'm gonna to try to show you both at the same time. Turn this up, pilot's still on, and it goes back on. I'm gonna turn this one off totally, okay? Turn up, turns everything off, push in a little bit, and turn to the right. You see that right? That's totally turned off. To light it, you turn it here to the middle, push in the pilot, and you're gonna put a lighter down there. I can't really do it because I got phone in one hand. Does that make sense? Just push this in, put the match down there, and light the pilot. Okay, we're gonna turn this one totally off. That's off. If you wanna even be safer, turn this off. If you wanna be even safer, which you should be, go to the front, turn that off and obviously turn this off and you can disconnect this there'll be no gas but i want to show the other side 
Same thing on this side, it's very windy. I don't know if you can see here. I'm gonna to try to turn this down. You see that? Turn it right back on. So you can adjust your temperature. You can see here, turn up and turn right back on. And the same thing, we're gonna turn this one off. Again, the wheel. There's your wheel, gotta unlock it. Here's your little pin. Goes to the locking place here. And you turn your wheel. It's not a rotisserie. You put your corn in it and you roll the corn to the back and you let it roast, which will take about, on a cold day like today, probably about 15 minutes. You want the corn to come out like this, brownish, a little burnt on the ends. Does that make sense here? This one's even a little bit better, an example. You can just see it's burning. I don't know what they call that, the fray, fray the hair on the corn, and it's brown. That, this is, this is ready. These are old, old stalks. That's really about it. When you get in position, push that in, you lock it in. Especially when you're driving, you want to lock that in. And then you push the pin in through here. Again, you can see it's very windy out here. And there is your fire on that side. We're going to turn this off, close the door. Okay, we're going to turn that off so you see we're going to go to the valve here that's on. It's very windy here. We're going to turn this up which is gonna turn the flame off. Pilot's still on, or if you can see it, there's the pilot. So if you wanna turn on, you can. Next to the pilot, that's called a thermocoupler. Just to teach you a little bit. When you light the pilot, the pilot lights that thermocoupler. Generates heat on the thermocoupler, which through that wire goes into this valve and has like a little magnet which holds open the safety valve on that. This is tons of safety features on this. So again, we're gonna close this. And now the pod's still on, you see it? And now I'm gonna turn it all the way, push in a little bit and turn. There you go. That's totally off, to the right. To the right again if you want to be really safe turn this off have these back doors open you need air to go in through the vent in there so the back door should be open when you're cooking and when you're cooking you should have this door slightly open because it will generate heat and you don't want to melt the water tank I hope that was a good explanation. It's a little bit long, but I try to go over everything. Give us a call, holler text, 770-866-2561. Barbecue, corn roast, baked potato, sweet potato, on.